if you're wondering which rings to get, just focus on three things. How much is needed as you age <laughs> because you start feeling a bit more pains here and there. If you're a coach, it's a great option. My program right now is Monday rings, Tuesday legs and handstand presses. These burn so much. It's very important to have a landmark where you need to touch or where you need to reach. Bicep work with the elbows in front of the body and rarely with the elbows behind. Am I feeling particularly frustrated in one specific exercise of skill? How am I managing that frustration? Oh, <laughs> almost tripped. <laughs> oh, you guys should see this setup. I'll show it to you. I'll, I'll film it with the phone. So how is it going, family? How are you doing? It's my first vlog here and excited. Uh, it was kind of unexpected um, because I'm not, I mean, I'm feeling so sore and didn't get a haircut, haven't even shaved. But then I thought, I mean, that's the point of, of these vlogs, uh, to make them as raw as, as natural. Whoa, it's too bright now. Good thing I brought with me some ND filters. These are like sunglasses for your camera. See, you can clearly see. There's a big difference between this one and this one. This is how I'm walking around with the camera. <laughs> Just put it like that. Da -da 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 -da. So many things that go behind the scenes to produce a video that, uh, yeah, it's hard to imagine. I'm good to go now. Okay, so where was I? Yeah, making these vlogs as natural, as transparent, as raw, as what you see is what you get. And yeah, today I was, I guess was just my, the perfectionist uh, in me was like, no, I'm just gonna get a haircut. I'm gonna wait until, I'm not sore, maybe next week, because I've been sick for a couple of weeks, and now I'm just getting back into, into training. This way. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely not my strongest phase uh, whatsoever. I'm just like building back up uh, to, to where I was. And yeah, it's, taking longer than expected, uh, but I'm doing it with a different mindset, like uh, not rushing it, taking it slow, building it, building that work capacity, that strength slowly, and without demanding too much from myself, because I tend to fall into, I'm not working hard enough, and what I'm actually doing is not resting hard enough. <laughs> so if you are one of those overachieving characters, uh, most likely than not, you need to rest more and ease on, on training. And that's gonna be my spot today. So let's set this rings up. We're gonna put them here. And this is the mic that I got. If you're a coach, it's a great option since you don't need to clip the mic anywhere. You can just put it as a headset. And the way it goes is just like this. You can adjust it and you got yourself a mic without having it to put in your hair. Like I could put, yeah, I could hang this in one of these dreads <laughs> or wear a cap and just go here. And I don't know now it's, yeah, it's still recording. Nice. Put this in your back and you're good to go. So one thing I always talk about is setup consistency. Calisthenics, especially with the rings, because the distance at which you place the rings, strap length is gonna make a big difference in the intensity of the exercise. Remember that the shorter the strap, the more stable the rings are. The longer, the more unstable, the more challenging it gets. So out of all of these bars, this is the one that I always pick. There's a small difference in height and I can feel that. I can feel this little difference when I use the other bar and my top supports, 
especially on my pushing exercises. Yeah, that's that's important. You'll feel it more on the pushing than the pulling because where you need to stabilize the most is when you push. <laughs> Hold on a second. I haven't told you what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Today's practice is going to be a push ball routine with rings. My program right now is Monday rings, Tuesday legs and handstand presses, Wednesday rings again. Thursday is my free day where I get to research a bit about rings, like trying new things, new exercises, as well as handstands. And Friday, on my last day, I do my strength, my weighted sessions. Also, if you're wondering which rings to get, I would say just focus on three things. I highly recommend that there wouldn't, you had two sizes, uh, it doesn't matter which size you pick, uh, if the thicker ones are the thinner, you're just gonna get used to one or the other. Straps, make sure they're numbered. And the buckle, make sure that it's good quality, that it's not uncomfortable to slide up and down. Focus seems to be working very well. I mean, it's a big challenge to, to film yourself and to nail the focus every time. That's, oh, I can't even, tell you how many videos I've deleted because I was out of focus. Anyways, scapula warm up. This is a banded routine that I've been doing for so long. Uh, I'm going to link it up. So what I'm looking for here is sensations of pulling, how the scapula is feeling today. It's very hard, <laughs> if not impossible for both of your scapulas, both of your arms, both of your sides to feel the same. So don't get stuck on that. And then one of my favorites, shout out to Yuri Armistein. That's where I got it from a very long time ago. So it starts like this, go around and go to the other side, flexing the elbow, flexing the shoulder. Once we get here, extend the elbow, with this external rotation of the shoulder. And then we go into internal rotation and flexing the elbow. I'm gonna link the tutorial of this move down below. So you have it. And the intention that I set on my warmups is to map out how my body is feeling. Am I feeling any discomforts? Am I feeling loose? Am I feeling tight? Uh, where, pinpoint those areas that are uh, having some things that are bothering me or not, or feeling amazing. Uh, the point is that the warm-up is extremely important to tune into your body. Today's warm-up is probably one of those where I'm not tuned into the body because there is the camera and I'm filming as well and talking to you as I'm doing it. But and besides blood flow, increased performance for strength and all of those physiological benefits of the warm-up and how much is needed as you age <laughs> because you start feeling a bit more pains here and there. The mental aspect of this, like connecting to your body before doing something intense is what I found most valuable. And so let's pull up my journal. Keep track of what you're doing. Uh, that's, I can't stress this enough. Uh, it's something that has completely changed my practice. And I'm not talking about just reps, sets, but also how you felt. Okay, so let's go for the first set. Still feeling sore. Let's see if I can change the focus. There you go. Ah, oh, I feel the soreness. I feel that I'm tired. Did five. I'm gonna grab my phone. Hey Siri, set a timer for one minute. 
So that's how I typically do it. I, I use Siri a lot. I either with the AirPods and I just said, hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes or two minutes or one minute. And that's the one easy way to set up timers for your resting time. <sighs> okay, let's go with <sighs> right side. Got five reps on each side. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes and a half. Let's go. Definitely a bit too intense for my liking, uh, especially on that last rep where I'm squeezing hard to get it. Uh, the standard that I have is to have my chin reach the top of the ring. Top of the ring. <laughs> so I can have a consistent standard in terms of range and technique. It's very important to have a landmark on where you need to touch or where you need to reach. Just like set up consistency, you want to have your technique also dialed in. So ring flies are next. And before getting into it right away, see that the alignment is proper. This one is lower than the other one. Okay, so I get into a plank, do some circles. So I noticed that my arms were a little bit too bent, uh, especially my left one, which indicates that the intensity was too high. <laughs> Still not ready for those yet. So what I'm gonna do is put it a bit higher. And that's another reason why having the straps numbered works very well, because I can know exactly how high do I go funny because I just saw how that set went and I see how my left one tends to bend earlier, especially on those last reps. So what I'm going to do on the next set is put them a bit higher. We're just decreasing a little bit the intensity. So we are not redlining or going to failure because for me this week, if I go to failure, that's, that's a failure in itself because it's not needed. And now we've got some tuck front lever rows. Uh, so as you can see, we started with a pull exercise, followed by a push. Now back to a pull. We're gonna do a push with ring dips after this one. So as you could see, 
I struggle on this one a lot. I used to have a front lever. Uh, it's been more than a year ago. And then I stopped training for it, started training legs. And my front lever just was completely gone. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep doing the work. And just in case you haven't noticed, the standard on this one is to reach the 90 degree, meaning elbow to body right here. Gosh, it's so hard. <laughs> and these guys do it like nothing. Freaking Fabian and Gabo. <laughs> Perfect line using like the smallest resistance band there is. Ah, uh, I'll get it. So I noticed how my hips were too low. Uh, what I typically do is record with my phone, just like you guys have seen on Gabo's blog. Uh, but yeah, today I'm doing this. But I got a chance to take a look at it before going to the third set, third and last. Let's go. It's time for ring dips. So let's see how this one goes. I also want to point out that I didn't mention tempo here on this routine. And it's because on this first mess cycle, I don't want to put another requirement for myself um, to stick to a tempo. And I want to leave that for the next cycle. And the cool thing about uh, our app is that you see all the tempos of each exercise uh, all labeled. So you can follow them and you know exactly how you should do the exercise. Um, but again, for this one, I'm just keeping it simple. No tempo, just my default tempo. I was definitely pushing it. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. So up next we have Pelican Curls and the reason why I chose these <laughs> is because uh, I typically do a lot of bicep work with the elbows in front of the body and rarely with the elbows behind the body, forcing that shoulder extension. And Pel Pelican Curls, oh the rings are not cooperating. <laughs> are great because I'm placing myself in this shoulder extension. I'm not going to do them in this intensity though, uh, because I want to do about 12. The range is 12 to 15 reps. Um, so I'm going to walk a bit more further and I'm going to be do the, doing them right here. Curling up to here. I'm not going to go all the way to here, but just staying here and going up and down. So let's go for the set.
The burn. <laughs> These burn so much. But it's a, uh, it's the good type of burn. I like this ones. I feel like they condition my joints very well. I'm gonna pair these with overhead tricep extensions, which are gonna come next. Using only one ring because it's more comfortable than being here. Shout out to Mika, who, who told me that trick. And I always keep my elbows in front of the body. And let's go. These were a bit more intense <laughs> than anticipated. And it's probably because of all the bent arm handstand presses that I did yesterday. So when that happens, uh, just like with archer pull-ups, my last couple of reps, I was struggling. I compensated and I cut it short a bit. In this case, for example, instead of 12 reps, I'm just gonna go between eight to 10. And yeah, just taking it easy. The camera is putting some pressure on me. <laughs> I can definitely feel how just the fact that I'm filming a vlog is pushing me harder and I'm not liking it. So that's something that's gonna go on the journal to, to take note. Those are some of the things that I like to notice, uh, like to put down uh, what's going on in my training, what, how am I feeling? Am I feeling particularly frustrated in one specific exercise of skill? And how am I managing that frustration? Am I going towards pushing harder? Or am I being patient and just cutting it short? That's something that's very interesting to, to put on your notes. Uh, if you're using the app, that's why we've put that notes section on the login in, so you can log these type of things. And if not, put it on your journal. And that's a great example of how you can extrapolate these lessons from your practice, from your movement practice training, and apply them to your life. So I just realized that the battery is about to die. So what I thought is to show you the rest of the routine, I'll put all the information in the pinned comment in the description so you have the full workout. Gonna go through the sets, one after the other. Let's get to it. So done with the session, went better than expected. And yeah, that's the thing that sometimes you never know how, how it's gonna go. And I finished feeling energized, even though it was intense on some sets. Uh, I would say out of all of the sets, three were too intense. So RP9 scale and yeah, this was fun. I'm glad I did this. Uh, even though I was not feeling <laughs> very inspired. Second, this is so dark. Okay, let's try this now. I know that some of you are waiting for the legs routine. Big apologies for the delay. But on our defense, uh, we don't, we're not only producing a legs workout to finish those three uh, workouts so you have the program but we are working on putting all of that into the app so you can access it completely for free. You can log in your progress and you have a free rings program. So that's why it's taking so long. Uh, there's so many components that we're working on and I'm so excited for it. Uh, looking forward to see your feedback, how yeah, and how it goes. And check out the app if you haven't done it yet. You have a full beginner's guide with the calisthenics test. So you can test your strength and mobility uh, besides hours of lectures. So you can not only practice, but actually know what you're doing. Family, thank you so much. This was uh, a lot of fun. It's not gonna be 
the only vlog for sure. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you here.